Hey boys, welcome back to some more Warriors career mode where we're taking on the Melbourne Storm at Amy Park and we've already versed the Storm once this season, it was game two or round two and it was a bit of a bit of a tough night at the office. I can't remember the final score, I think it was something like 14, 14 to, to zip so we do know the Storm are a strong side but they, are, they aren't going too well in the comp. Uh, they're they're definitely out of the eight, so, you know, they're obviously not having their best season, that's for sure. So it's a, a good opportunity for a bit of redemption. We are, you know, we've definitely come come a long way since the first couple of games, and uh, we're definitely looking a lot better as a team all round. But the Storm, as you see, pretty much a full-strength lineup. Good uh, good forward pack, good back line. Um, yeah, it looks like full strength to me they do have uh Brody croft on the bench a little a little strange the game still suffers a little bit of uh of like rugby league live three where they 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 select some weird players on like the bench they select a lot of like outside backs and stuff like that but overall i think the game is a little bit better in terms of who they select but we start off pretty well here it was blake ashford got through it through the gap first up Great little inside pass to Tulvashek. Doesn't really find any room, but I do like that uh, that little setup quite a bit as uh, Fusatua on the wing, stepping around his opposition in uh, Vudavalu. I think he's up against. So a couple of, you know, a couple of very dangerous wingers right here. Just mistimed the pass and went forward. I was very frustrated right there. We were, we were in a good chance to actually put on the first attacking uh, set we could come up with, but forward pass just killed all the momentum and it gives the... The Melbourne Storm side a chance to put in their own attacking kick. Cooper Cronk is going to go to the skies here. It's going to be Chase Blair, I think it is, on this side. He does get the bat down, but uh, Josh Adokar is going to be rounded up by Sean Johnson. But once again, another error from us. We haven't started the game off too, too flash hot here. Just a couple of errors coming out of our own zone. And uh, it's just inviting the Storm to go on the attack and just the inside ball. You know, I overread it, just tried to shut it down. And this is this is what I was talking about with the defense. Like, the defense, when you get the hang of it, it's it's good. And, you know, if you keep a good solid line, it's it's not that hard to defend. But as soon as I get, like, a little frustrated or a little lazy with the defense and I go to rush out the line and shut it down, it just backfires. Like, they just turn it inside or they'll, they'll cut the man out and all of a sudden the hole will open up and you'll... You can see the try just like that. So, you know, you gotta be, you got to be on your toes. It's right here with uh, the Storm coming up in there. We've got a good chance to actually go on the attack ourselves. As, uh, it's going to be four tackle here. Isaac Luke from Dummy Half gets it onto Lilliman, onto Bodie and Thompson. I probably could have just gone with Lilliman, just try to go straight up the guts. But a uh, fifth tackle option is on the cards here. Sean Johnson gets it on to Ryan Hoffman, onto Big Batavai on the wing, back on the inside. I, uh, you know, I probably should have put in the kick, but I thought we would have him out wide. But no, the, the defense is too good. I was sort of that's sort of a habit of rugby league live three on last tackle. It's very easy to like score tries on last plays. Two of our check from the kick. Kick returns, Kevin Munster giving the chase there with Vunavalu. I thought we were going to go all the way with Tilvasha. He's been absolutely outstanding. But Isaac Luke, on the back of that, he just beats Cameron Smith. Actually, who was that? Billy Slater, maybe. Just all ends up. Isaac Luke, I think, probably being our best player. Just, oh man, I love the step in this game. The step, the step is really good. I, I do like it a lot. Uh, but that was on the back of Tilvasha, just beating tacklers and uh, scoring, scoring, in, well, he didn't score, but he set up Isaac Luke for the quick scoot out dummy half, catching Billy Slater on his heels and uh, leveling the game up. That is a nice little turn underneath there. Boney Thompson, he's been pretty solid for us as well. I think he's probably our highest rated. I think he's 80 rated. Um, that's a nice little offload there. And uh, once again, that held in tackle penalty. Occasionally, just in the game, like the ref will just call a, a held held down penalty like straight away and we actually decide to go for the uh, penalty goal um, it's a big kick this is a uh, this is a big kick we need to time it absolutely perfectly um, but I thought you know there's a couple minutes left go for the two and we, yeah, we time it pretty well but the the touch is already waving the kick away it only shows just for uh, just short it wasn't a wasn't a bad kick 
We almost got it in the green. If, I think if we got it in the green, it would have gone over. But yeah, it was uh, not a bad attempt. The storm had thrown it around a bit at the uh, at the siren here, and that is going to be a six-all halftime score. So I felt I felt pretty good coming back into that game because I <laughs> I was starting to get frustrated with the fact that the storm got that early try on us. But you know, we kept their heads up and. Played pretty decent at the end of that half and came away with a try. So with six all into the break, you know the games the games are just close all the time. So it's you gotta be on your game the whole the whole 80. We can't really slack off, especially in the second half as a storm get a, a you know a decent set rolling up the field here. It's not uh, not a great start to the second half. We'd like to you know stop that momentum early on, but a, uh, a risky offload from Vatavaya. I was just sort of. Wanting to get out of the corner there. Very, very risky though. But the Storm are going to do an uncustomary just mistake early in the tackle count. They had good uh, good territory to work with. But they give us a chance here. Tuovashe gets it on Solomon Ikata. Just steps around one. Shrugs off Cameron Munster. The chase is coming from Adokar. But he's just going to beat him to the line and score a second try. Ikata last game was outstanding. And he's shown that form again today. Um... Just uh, with the step and then the palm off in the same motion, it looked pretty, looked pretty flash, honestly. And then uh, I thought Adokar had us for pace easy, you know, probably, you know, again, one of those ones in real life, Adokar probably should have chased us down. Um, I, I don't know, it's hard to tell how quick Kata is, like, because I haven't really seen Kata in space too much. He hasn't really played much this season all around, but... Um, yeah, it's it. but Adakar is definitely an absolute speed star. We had a you know we had a big lead on him as well. That's also something to take into account. His last play here, looking to just uh, kick to possession. But of course, the fucking teammate. This happened last game as well. That is the biggest thing they need to fix. Is the 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 uh, the, pl the kicker. Um, as ro I need to talk about that for a second. I don't know what the storm did right there. It was a poor pass and then. They just kicked it into the in goal dead, so we got very lucky right there. They um they probably should have scored, but yeah, they really need to fix the the playmaker position for the kicks, and also just y your teammates just fucking run back for some reason to get in your way. Like again, there was nothing we could do. Is right there. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking right there. Poor play again. Forward passes. You know, end of the game here. Just painting it a little bit. Just you know, we have the lead. We just have to play smart and try to put this game away is big Albert Vete, he's going to go straight through and score a try, he just came off nothing, and man, I felt uh, I felt pretty good after this, it sort of doesn't quite wrap the game up, but uh, it gives us a little bit of breathing room for once, he just shrugged away, you know, Billy Slater was in the line defending, which um, you know happens in real life, the fullbacks come up, but it was a good opportunity to actually, you know, break the first tackle, like Billy Slater is not generally going to stop a charging front rower full on like that so fairly realistic you got a little uh fullback up in the line trying to defend against that it's not going to happen as Ashford being very good for us lately and right there Fusatou he actually sort of like broke the tackle and was just sort of standing around but uh playing pretty well Sam Lasone there straight through I throw the pass I was like Kieran Foran under the post here but again the intercept happened just have to be a little bit more careful with those uh two-on-one situations, but we have got this game wrapped up. It feels good to actually not be uh, in these dying stages looking to lose the game. We actually got a 12-point lead, and uh, it feels good to get a little bit of revenge over the Storm, who did give us a bit of a, like I said at the start, a bit of a flogging in the, the second game as uh, Chase Player almost gets a little sneaky try at the end here. I was trying to throw it around a bit, and the intercept did take place, but uh, Isaac Luke, once again, excellent for us. We get another victory. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. Make sure to like if you are, and I'll see you guys in the next one.